So the link between children and, and parents um, with eosinophilic esophagitis um, does get back to are these really the same disease or are they different diseases? And um, looking at the two diseases, I think there are many more similarities between the pediatric manifestations of EOE and the adult manifestations of disease. The histology looks identical. You see the same type of eosinophilic inflammation in children and adults. You see the same pattern of uh, what we call um, biomarkers or types of inflammatory markers that are elevated in children and adults. And the endoscopies can look quite similar. The biggest difference between children and adults with eosinophilic esophagitis gets back to what are called uh, remodeling or fibrostenotic complications of disease. That are the, those are the strictures that develop in the esophagus, which are much more commonly identified in adults than children. So I think overall, there, are, again, are more similarities between children and adults. The biggest difference gets down to stricture formation, which we think is related to how long you've had disease. Adults often have had disease for many, many years before they seek medical attention. And that is likely why they're developing these strictures uh, when we see them as, as gastroenterologists.